Good day, good day, good day, you absolute bunch of bloody legends. Uh, loser bum back on your screens with some uh, low quality, zero scripted, single take, Argon uh, modern retro computing content. We're talking about the Argon Lite. If you don't know what that is, you can switch to another video. And what we're going to do today is, uh, again, uh, show step by step uh, how to upgrade uh, the Argon MOS and VDP uh, from, uh, in my case, it's a release candidate. 3 to the very very latest in the last 20 less about 24 hours ago the latest version dropped 1.03 final and we're going to upgrade um, to that so with that um, let's go. So uh, before I get started, huge shout out here uh, to Dean Beltfield, break into program on GitHub. He's the man who single-handedly writes the MOS and uh, writes the VDP and writes the BDBC basic. And it's amazing. I mean, this is hardcore assembler bit bashing all right down the hardware and improving all the time. So amazing, standing on the shoulders of giants. I'll put a link to all of this in the description below. On there, you there's a place where you can buy him a Kofi. So uh, I did that one. Why don't you do that? So yeah, we're talking Argon, and if I scroll down quite far here on the home page, uh, we get to the system diagram, and yeah, we're going to upgrade two internal pieces of software on the Argon. We're under going to uh, upgrade the MOS, the operating system, which li lives in a flash more on this side of the computer, on the left-hand kind of side that has a CPU, the Z80. That's yeah, that's like the BIOS basically. That's the MOS, um, and then that communicates via report with the right hand side of the architecture which is the VDP which is based on an ESP32 system on a chip computer uh, again communicating by serial and the VDP um, which does graphics but also in out uh, for keyboard and audio and things like that and that is updated uh, in a different way because we're basically updating the ESP32 kind of like an Arduino so let's step through the process here and just so uh, you show there's no hidden tricks here we're looking at um, my machine plugged in at the moment um which has uh, 1.03 RC3, so release candidate 3, and we're going to do the upgrade. Important, when you do the upgrade, you should always start with the MOS first, because the uh, the MOS upgrade is done from within the computer. You're using a, a little program, utility program, in on the Argon Lite computer, and that will do the reflashing of itself. Uh, so you need a working computer to start those commands. After that update, it could be that um, now, because because your MOS is out of sync with your VDP that your screen or your keyboard don't work and then you can't issue commands. So that's why you do the MOS first and the VDP uh, second. Okay, let's go back here. Um, I will share this. So these are the very, very detailed and just updated today um, instructions on how to do this. I'll put the link in the description below. It's really step by step. So yeah, you need an Arg Argon, a micro SD card, the ability to write a micro SD card and you need a USB-C cable able to plug the argon and actually the VDP uh, into your computer. Then I've literally listed in painstaking detail exactly the files and the links you need. You don't need to search around. So there's the, the binary for the MOS. So this is the new MOS.binary. Here's the flash utility. Uh, here's the new uh, VDP.zip, which you've got to ex extract and you've got to rename, uh, rename a lower level folder to video. There's the Arduino software and then there's the BBC basic. Uh, as mentioned, MOS first and then VDP. Download all the stuff, tidy up your SD card uh, and then you can already copy the newest version of BBC Basic and really do take the latest and all the sample files uh, they're listed above. Uh, you can already copy those to the SD card um, because they'll be useful for testing. You don't have have to, it's optional, but it's it's useful for testing. So let's get uh, stuck in. Uh, let's start by updating the MOS. So how do we do that? Um, I've got here the uh, locally plugged in the uh, my, my little SD card. So I've uploaded the latest 1.3 final MOS.bin file to the root. In the MOS subfolder, uh, I have, amongst others, the only one I need here is flash.bin. That's the updated uh, utility. There's some other utilities. And you put that in the MOS folder so that you can call this program, flash.bin, like a MOS command, which is necessary because you need to, to pass some argument. So, okay, MOS in, MOS in the root, uh, flash in uh, the thing. Um, that's it. 
I'll take that um, and we will plug that into the device. You will see that in a moment. So I'm just taking the SD card out of my computer, putting them into my Argon, which I will now switch on. And then you should see the Argon screen on the screen there you go uh, now it's booting cleanly all the way because the sd card in there it's even booting into the bbc basic so we will leave the bbc basic by saying bye and now we will update so you say flash moss dot bin um and now at the end you got to enter a checksum so 0x for hex and i've got the actual a uh, number here in the instructions so uh, I will just copy that over there 0x81 echo 397 Charlie 9 hexadecimal a certain amount of bits 24 bits I think so so uh, I just typed that in sorry I'll do that over there so I just typed in that command with the checksum flash mos.bin checksum and now he's uploading the file the mos.bin file into uh, the flash he's checking based on this checksum that the file is indeed correct and not corrupted and asking me do you really want to flash this instead of the uh, old one and I'm going to say yes on the correct keyboard uh, which, by the way, doesn't take an enter. You press Y. Okay, so he's backing up the internal, the existing firmware. If there's a failure, he will revert uh, and, you know, take what he's just backed up and write it again. But it's going well. It's written. The check sum is done. And it's going to reset itself in one second. Reset itself. Boom. And we have now uh, MOS version 1.3. No longer RC's, uh, RC3 at the end. So it's no longer a re release candidate. Uh, the MOS is correct. I'll just uh, reset that to device so it goes through a full boot cycle and uh, yeah he's even winding up here so interesting that the uh, MOS 1.3 final is actually comp uh, compatible with the RC3 VDP on some of the early upgrades that was not the case um, all right uh, now we have to switch the device off um, switch the device off we unplug the USB-C from the Argon uh, and up oh, important uh, hang on let's go back to instructions so you see all of this so yeah we've we've done all of the MOS update we're good uh, now we're going to do the VDP and because that's the uh, ESP32 we have to basically it's it's like an Arduino we have to use the Arduino IDE to update that I've already got that started over here here it is uh, then and to get it installed really go to these uh, and you've got to follow all of these instructions you've got to download the right version uh, enter a URL and install the board because uh, that teaches the um, the Arduino IDE about this very specific Z80 board and then there are two libraries which you need to add one of them is FabGL and the other one is uh, is ESP time where you also have to select the right version so that configuration just follow these instructions in a letter and then you're ready to go um, exactly so I've powered down uh, the device and there are two jumpers which I need to do here which put it sort of in the programming mode the argon so i've just flipped those two jumpers they're on they're, they're closed the connection is closed now i'm now plugging in the usbc arduino ide it's going to open sorry about this i might cut it out now we'll just leave it in it's live uh, so file open and just check that I've actually opened the right one. So it's the Argon, the uh, 1.03. It doesn't actually say final, but it's the, the latest release with not RC3 behind it. And the bottom most folder is renamed to video. I've selected the video Eno. And now, um, yeah, the Arduino IDE is ready to, um, to update the device. So that's where we are. And what we're going to do now, uh, are we actually going to see anything? No, we press Control U for update. So in Arduino, we're now telling him update. Oh, before we do that, we check, has he recognized it? And in my case, yes, he's recognized my ESP32 on COM6. When I plugged it in, it went blink, and uh, the USB has declared itself as a COM port. So COM6, yep, and all of these settings are, are from the instructions. So now we go Control U. He first has to compile, which he's doing now. And that's going to take a while. Uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, we're going to wait here. Uh, he's offering to update. No. So, yeah, I'm just going to doodle noodle around here for a little bit while that's happening. 
so yeah i guess he's compiling the vdp code he doesn't seem to save it and then he will upload it to the device so there'll be a cut here la 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 for those of you watching the live stream what the fuck <laughs> he's compiling and it takes yeah it takes over a minute right I don't know exactly where we are on, on streaming right now. Oh, we're already 12 minutes in. Okay, I was hoping to keep this under 10 minutes, but yep, uh, just a, a little a little slow. Dun, 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 dun. I don't want to go in on another screen in case it's, it goes, because the yeah, like all these progress bars, right? They They just do their thing. Some interesting discussions online from Olimex that they want to kind of do a, a native 6502 kind of thing like this for, with a retail price point of 20 euros or 30 euros. Yeah, you know, I'll be getting myself one of those and doing some worthless videos. <laughs> oh, oh, we have a progress here. The progress bar has moved. Maybe I won't even do a cut. Maybe I'll just select this bit and make it like 32 speed. So it's going. Ah, okay. Last part of the progress bar. Come on, baby. You can do it. Yeah, well, while we wait, I'm going to show you this thing. Check this out. Found it by the side of the road, basically, or it was discarded. It's a reaction tester. It has two buttons, I guess, for start and note. One is for on and off, and the other one was, I guess, start, stop. It's triple nine Malaysia. Ah, oh, there we go. It's doing it. Um, sorry. Uh, I was just playing with something else. But there we saw on the screen... Uh, how it was um, it was doing the thing, right? How it was uploading, and now it's trying to reset, which didn't really work, but that doesn't matter, matter because now what I can do is I power, I unplug the USB, I re-plug the USB power, I flip my two jumpers to off because we want the normal mode. We don't want the VDP programming mode. Uh, are we done? Are we done? Okay, uh, we can go to the different visualization over here because we don't need the Arduino switch on. Tan ta da tan, moment of truth. And we're there. Uh, there we have it at the top, 1.03 without the RC3 for both the VDP and the MOS. Drops us straight in the basic. Basic seems to work. Uh, CD tests, I guess. Oh, no, wrong keyboard. Um, CD tests. Uh, star DIR. Uh, we're going to chain triangles dot baz. One of my YouTube uh, viewers gave me this trick. Uh, oh, triangles. By the way, the new versions, for example, they already, you can go up arrow and it'll take the last line. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, the, this chain command, it loads and runs at the same time. So you need one command. And here are the triangles. Subjectively, they feel faster than before. I wouldn't be surprised because there's been some major accelerations. And here we are. So it works. Test successful. Uh, let's go back to uh, our list. Make sure we've got everything. So disconnect, connect, um, upload, wait for the successful write, flip the jumpers, reconnect. Yep, we won. It tested successful. Medals all round. Um, with that, 
that, I could say that uh, thanks for watching. I'll keep making the comments. Uh, big shout out to the Argon community, whether it's on Discord or on Facebook. Big shout out to Dean. Uh, big shout out to, to, to Lennart and, and the creators of all this. It's exciting being part of the adventure. I hope this helps somebody who might be a bit scared about updating their unit. Um, yeah, um, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, remember to like, share and subscribe. Remember to tell your friends to like, share and subscribe. I'm Loserbum, you're the Argon community, and I am almost out of here. All right, that's the official end. The following here is bonus. So P.S. Uh, I actually recorded this earlier um, and it failed. Somehow the local recording crashed, which is why I'm now doing it a live stream, which I will then edit later and make a proper YouTube video. And the first time it worked and I even used the same methodology to downgrade. I was able to downgrade from 1.03 back down to 1.03 RC3 so that I could step you through the entire process, which I did. And that was very exciting. So thanks for watching and uh, be late.